uh, Buari to arsonist, pillars, agitators, I will shock you. That's how the nation is putting it. Uh, for the Nigerian Tribune, shock with those who want to destroy my government, Buhari. I mean, talking points as well. Let's talk. Uh, I think for me, uh, the, the outcome of those comments, the reactions that have trailed, uh, those, uh, those statements by the president are more profound for me than uh, uh, those comments. Because it's not the first time President Buhari has said that they will shock the people who are attacking. Uh, uh, the authority of the state. It's not the first time. When uh, this issue of banditry became a big deal in this country, the president said the same thing, that banditry cannot overtake government. But today we know that they are operating, uh, they have a field day in the northwest especially, band bandits, killer bandits who abduct children for ransom, who abduct the children of the Greenwood School, Greenfield School in Canada, held them, you know, who abduct the students of Africa, held them for over 50 days. We now have 200 students of an Islamic school from Manchester State. The president also spoke like this. Hard stance, he said. Tough times for the bandits, he said. But the bandits probably are laughing it off. I mean, they are not picking in their shoes and they are not worried. If they want to hit uh, anywhere they want, they, they do it with, with ease. They go into schools and roll children out, march them into the forest, and the government does it over there. To chase them. So it's not the fact that the president is making this comment. Uh, people will not be uh, that expectant or see indeed that the president has woken up from his slumber. They will mm -hmm. say that. But he, he tried, he spoke up with the meeting up with INEC after the meeting with INEC. INEC had come to brief him that the problems we are having, the 2023 elections are threatening. Everywhere in the southeast, especially, and some parts of the south south, they are attacking our assets. They are burning down INEC offices, they are burning down INEC offices. With sensitive and non sensitive election materials. In Anambra, we're planning an election for November. They have burnt down almost every INEC office, you know, in the state. Local government to local government. The same thing has happened in Enugu. The same thing we've seen in Africa. So it was a particular present danger. And the INEC chairman said, we need to let the president know. Well, the president reacted that uh, uh, this is the handiwork of. Uh, of people who are, are, are doing this to make the government feel. He, he thinks it's orchestrated. Uh, the president thinks that uh, it is the handiwork of politicians, some of them who are trusted for power, and that uh, uh, they will get a shocker, according to him. You know, he also relieved his, uh, his civil war experience, his civil war story, and that for those of them who, who battled at the front for 30 months, they know what the war is. Uh, those who are calling for what will show the shock of their lives. Honestly, most Nigerians will, will want these people who are destroying this country, who are disturbing this country, to have the shock of their lives. But is, is this government capable of shocking them? Or is that this where political statement? I think that's where the, the reactions have come from. First of the um, minister in the government, you know, was quick to say, who oh, Nigerians will now see the real Buhari. But it's already six years. It is already six years. You know, we have not seen the root boy in six years. Are we going to see him in the next two years? You know, that leaves you make up your mind what you want, and I'll sit there and come mm -hmm. about that. You know, there are other Nigerians like the PDP who is saying, match your words with action, stop this threat. You have been in power for six years already. You know, you don't even need to tell Nigerians that the people who are destroying high neck assets in the Southeast will tell you to shut up their life, stop them. And then we'll know that indeed. Uh, you have shocked them. So I think more than the president's statement, uh, you know, his tough styles, I, I think more than that is uh, the reactions to this. What people are saying about this latest presidential uh, uh, comment. Do they believe that this government has the capacity, the capability uh, to go after the enemies of state and stop this attack, this act on, 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 the, on the authority of the state? Uh, at the moment, you know, opinions will be very divided. On, on this subject matter, really. And I, and I think that uh, uh, much of much, much what is action, you know, action speaks a bit louder than, than words in yeah. a situation like this. You know. So we'll see how it comes out indeed, you know. Uh, some people have said the president has woken up from his slumber. Mm. Uh, we'll see how it goes, Jacob. All right. Okay. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.